So I got something to say. I'm just a little perplexed, let's just say. Um, I really am starting to believe that people no longer know how to be friends. People no longer know how to be real, real good girlfriends to other other girls. Like it's just so much that I see. And and, and let me, let me stop you before you come in, in in my comments and be like, oh girl, don't worry about them. First of all, Jackie, I'm not worried about nobody, and this is not for me. This is just like things that I observe. I'm a very observant person and I observe a lot. So I just want to speak on it because like people be scared to speak on certain stuff. So I'm your girl. Um, so what I was saying was I think people are having a harder time being real good homegirls. You know, real good homegirls. And my definition of a real girl homegirl is just somebody that's gonna be cool with you in front of your face and cool with you behind your back no matter what y'all go through. Now that's a real good homegirl. I'm talking about if y'all fall out, you ain't gotta worry about hearing your business from nobody else because she done told your business because she mad at you. You feel what I'm saying? Like that type of homegirl. Or y'all ain't even gotta fall out. You one way in my face, we cool, he he ha ha cackling, and then you get with a next girl that don't really care for me, and you talking about me like she talking about me. But then we go have dinner that night, and we homegirls again because I don't know that you can talk about me all day. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I don't. I think we have gotten away from how to be real, real good homegirls. And I think we need to get back to that because we all need that one homegirl, that two homegirls, maybe even three homegirls that we can call, that we can call and be like, hey girl, let me tell you what happened today. Or hey girl, let me tell you what I did today. Or hey girl, I messed up today. Let me tell you what happened. And I need some advice. And I could tell you anything and everything that I go through. And either you gonna give me feedback, you gonna pray for me, or you gonna be like, oh no, girl, that ain't you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna always be there for me. And I ain't gotta worry about how you carrying my name behind my back. To me, people that are one way in your face, and then they act totally different behind your back. It's something that they're envious of of you. It's something that that's in you that they wish that was in them. And because that they really feel that type of way about that one thing that's in you that they don't like then they really ain't really down for you like that. But they don't know how to tell you that or they don't know how to shy away from you because it's something in you that they do like. You feel me? It's some value in you that they like. And they always take away from that value, but they don't never add nothing to you because they're really envious of you. Let me tell you how you could, you could point them, them friends out. If you around this person and you constantly got something to add to them or you constantly you know encouraging them motivating them or you just there for them right and they telling you all whatever is going on with them whatever and you down with them and then when you leave them you feel a sense of drainage like you feel a sense of emptiness like like they drained you that's a sign. That's a sign that that's not really your people. That's a leech. It's something in you that they're taking from you every time you're in their presence. They are leeching off you, sis. Leeching off you. So just be mindful. When you're around people, be mindful of how you're, you feel. Be mindful of your energy. And then if you sense that this person is draining you, Instead of going behind their backs talking about them, 
Shy away from them. Like my mom always tell me, feed them from a long handle spoon because those are not your people. What you need, you need people, <clears throat> you need people that you can add value to and that can add value to you. Now I ain't saying let those people go all together because those people really might need you. But you don't need to get hurt in the process. So you got to know who your people are. You really have to label your friends. You have to know, okay, this one I could trust. This one I can't trust. This one I can talk to about anything. This one I can only talk to her about schoolwork. This one I can only talk to her about my job. Like, you really got to label people and know where people stand. Because if you don't, you're going to get your feelings hurt. So, yeah, that's my two cents. Since we got to get back to being better friends. Being better, better people in general. We really have to get back to that. Because we have really shy away from that. And it's really sad because girls united, man, we could do some 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 stuff. So get back to that, you know? Find out who your people are and stick to those people. Y'all be blessed.